how do you deliver any more dynamic style so that people feel like they've had an experience and want to hear more? The answer to that question can be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In the last three videos, you've heard about the first three parts of my podcast interview with Karen Kirkendall of Inspired Conversations. In the fourth and final part, Karen asked me questions about how to deliver in a more dynamic fashion. The one idea that stands head and shoulders above all others, and if you've watched me for any length of time, you know where I'm going with this. Silence. Silence is where the sale of your idea, your product, or service is made. Yesterday we talked about not overloading your audiences. Well, one of the ways to do that is to cut your material and when you present it to allow the audience to think about the implications of the points you're making. Give your audience time to think about using your product or service or implementing your idea and how that will benefit their lives. When you ask questions, give them time to think about the answer. When you do this, they get out of their heads and they get into their hearts. They start to feel the message that you're sharing. They, they get the implications and they can see the new life. And perhaps they can think about some frustration or pain in their current life and how your suggestion can make their lives better. You can only get that impact if you allow them to think and feel and that's what you do with silence. The other big benefit of silence is that when you say something funny, people will laugh. Never forget that audiences today want to be entertained. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but if they, if they just wanted information, they can go on the internet, you can send them a PDF, send them an email with a summary, that's it. They don't need you. What they need, again, is your interpretation and they want some entertainment. If you say something funny, let them laugh. How do you do that? Be quiet. Let them laugh. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with silence. That's the number one step to creating a dynamic delivery. Well, those are some quick ideas on how to create a dynamic delivery. As with the last three videos, if you'd like to hear the entire 10 minute interview, there's a link below this video. What are some ways you've created a dynamic delivery? Please leave your thoughts below this video. I hope this four part refresher series has been good for you. You may recall I started this series off talking about being a sports fan. Sports teams, in order to perform at their best, have to go back to the fundamentals over and over again. If you can't execute the fundamentals, there's no way you can achieve at a high level. The same holds true in speaking. Come back to these fundamentals from time to time and you will be much more impactful and leave a longer lasting impression on your audience. I'll see you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Thank you.